Yo, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 from Wartesters.com. Today we have a first impression off of some leaked images, but they're really good official leaked images of the upcoming Russell Westbrook second signature performance basketball shoe, which is the Russell Westbrook, or it's not called the Russell Westbrook, but it's called the Jordan Why Not 0.2. But before we talk about that, we also wanted to announce a team up giveaway. We have teamed up with a fellow YouTube creator, Andrew Edwards. If you wanted to check him out, go ahead and check the link in the description box below. I'll take you over to his channel where he's got tons of tech videos. Videos. I know that a lot of people that are into sneakers are also into tech, iPhones, iWatches, whatever it might be. It is called an iWatch, right? Or is it an Apple Watch? I think it's an Apple Watch. I was close. I was so close. Well, everything else has always been an eye, so yeah, I see where you're the going. iMac, or, uh, except for the laptop. But anyways, that's exactly what they're giving away is the Apple Watch. So if you wanted to enter, again, click the link in the description box below. One will take you over to his channel. The second one will actually take you to the official entry page. And all you have to do is follow the steps that are in that little entry page and everything. you got to subscribe to all of the channels involved. There's three of us total. And then there's some extra steps to give you some additional entries. It'll be a random selection, and then the winner will be contacted and notified and all that stuff. So good luck to you and uh, with that being said let's go ahead and get right into it so the Russell Westbrook signature series is an interesting one he has had lifestyle signature shoes with Jordan brand before they ever came out with the basketball shoe originally that's all they were gonna do but enough people were hounding the brand being like we want a basketball shoe for Russell Westbrook and so that's exactly what they did the why not zero one was actually originally a team shoe which I I saw in a box of like other shoes random shoes when I was over at East Bay's headquarters a long time ago and it was not called the why not zero one I can't even remember what the hell it was called it was just a it was a team shoe and they slapped his name on it much like they did with the Jordan Legacy 312 and then they slapped Don C's name on a few colorways this shoe though the why not zero two is designed specifically for Russell Westbrook which I think is awesome so that's the one thing that I think is great about the shoe just right off the bat the second thing is just looking at it you could tell that these are some funky ass sneakers and that suits him really well because the dude dresses to me like a weirdo but to other people he's fresh and to him he's fresh so that's all that matters right like you shouldn't be dressing to impress somebody else i think that his style is super weird but that's the way that he likes and that's the way that this shoe comes off as, as well it comes off as super weird looking and i kind of like it not casually i would not wear these off court but you know on court i think they look okay they also remind me a lot of like the jordan 33 like the way that the collar area is shaped i really like them you like the, the why not zero two yes i really do <laughs> Like visually? I think they're cool what? looking. Really? They're like so weird. That's what I mean. Like they're so weird, they're cool. Yeah. But for me, encore. No, and I get that. And that's how you guys should be looking at it. Like you want to perform in them. I'm not playing basketball. I think they look cool. I think that's kind of cool and weird at the same time because she doesn't like anything that I like. <laughs> she doesn't like anything that I like, man. Check this out. I'm using these as an example again. These are f***ing dope. These are weird as f***. What do you think about these? I don't like them. Yeah, so what the hell? <laughs> How do you like the Russell Westbrook and you don't like the Eddie Jones? What's up with that? She's not a real sneakerhead. She's a hype beast. <laughs> I'm just f***ing with you. You should have seen her face. That was funny. Now, as far as tech specs are concerned, the upper of the shoe looks pretty basic. It looks just like the Air Jordan 33 in terms of overall materials. We got a lot of mesh, got some fuse paneling. We got lots of overlays, something that I like, something that is missing in a lot of like today's footwear. A lot of today's footwear is very one dimensional. There's just the shoe, the upper, the sock, the booty, whatever you want to call it. You did the thing again. You did the, you did the <laughs> thing again. As soon as I say booty, she gives me the... Hey, you know what I mean? And I'm just like, kind of like, damn, girl, like, calm down, relax. But I like that they're implementing some additional features on the shoe. It's not just the Y901, it's a shoe underneath a cover. I don't like that shoe. Well, visually, I don't like it either, but still, like, it's like, there's nothing to it. Mm -hmm. It's a shape and it's an upper. It looks like a block of wood turned into a shoe. It doesn't play like that, thank goodness, because that would suck. The, the cool thing is, is that, like, that shoe is one of my favorites, but I don't like how they look. I think that this might be, like, another one of those shoes. At least I'm hoping. But I love the way that the upper is constructed. I like the four foot little overlays for some containment, but they're broken up in a way to allow flexibility at the same time. The midfoot containment looks like it's gonna be awesome with those little like kind of like strap overlays. Reminds me a little bit of the Nike PG2 four foot area where they had those uh, adaptive wings or whatever they call them at the four foot with the lacing. I think that they look kind of cool performance wise. The rear section of a shoe, honestly, it reminds me of what they did with Mellow shoes back in the day. It wasn't that long ago, but still it was pretty recent. Uh, along with 
with like brand black shoes. They've done it on Wade's shoes for Li Ning and all that stuff that like kind of like 3D triangle look. It's, you know, I don't know. I don't even know if that's really in style anymore, but Russ might like it, so that's cool. Now the midsole itself is Phylon, but what I like about it is that it's completely decoupled, something that we haven't seen since the Air Jordan 30. And we all know that Russell loves the Air Jordan 28 and the 29, and I think it was the 32. Like I think his 30s, they came out with a 30.5. Had the tooling of the 30, but then the upper was 31, and then the bottom was from the 30. The guy loves the way that that feels, and I think that that's cool. I love the way that decoupled midsole and tooling feels as well, so I'm really happy to see that back in there. If you have not played with something like this, it's, I don't know how to really explain it, but like it feels so freeing. You feel super secure, but you also feel extremely mobile. Even if you're not like a super quick person or anything like that, you just feel like you can move. Like you don't feel restricted at all. You don't feel like you're wearing a block of wood that looks like shoe. Feels really, really nice on court. I'm glad that these are, are coming out like this because it's gonna give more people the opportunity to kind of like try this out. Now the chassis that they're using to kind of carry the decoupled forefoot and heel is made out of TPU. Not only is it connecting the two pieces, like the bridge between the gap, but it's also going to act as containment pieces as well, both in the midfoot and in the, the rear or the heel. That's heel containment, heel support. All that stuff is actual ankle support, not the collar height of the shoe for anybody wondering. Lockdown and keeping yourself on that footbed, that's what's going to save your ankles. If you're in the shoe and it's sloppy, that's an accident waiting to happen and that sucks. Now in terms of cushion, there is nothing in the heel. I've been told by somebody that I cannot name, but he's connected with I can't say anything that sucks but either way I was told by that person that there is nothing in the heel that Russ doesn't like cushion in the heel it, it for some reason makes him feel slower which I think is weird because the why not zero one was full length zoom which is awesome the forefoot is gonna be zoom air what I'm assuming because this is the part that's kind of like speculation but what I'm assuming is that it's gonna be the same exact zoom air unit that we saw in the Air Jordan 32 and 33 which is that huge forefoot squared bag I don't think that we're getting anything articulate I don't think it's going to be thin. I don't think it's going to be zoom turbo or I don't think that it's going to be any of that stuff. I think it's going to be the really thick, large volume zoom unit in the forefoot. It's going to cover a lot of area, that whole forefoot section basically. I think it's going to feel awesome. I don't know if it's going to be unlocked or not. I'm assuming it's going to be because of the decoupled design, but that's what I'm assuming is going to be in the forefoot. Again, nothing has been confirmed or official, but that's what I think is going to be in there. And then the outsole itself, a lot of people are kind of like sketchy about the traction. There's but I a lot of opinions on that. Yeah, I think it's going to be f***ing awesome. What's better than giant circles, little ones? And they're they're covering everything. Dust is not going to get clogged up in there. It's going to create enough friction, but enough slack as well so that you don't like pop your hip out or whatever, but it's going to like still give you like good coverage. We've seen stuff like this before, like on the Zoom Live. So I don't think that there's going to be a real problem. I don't think these are going to be like a durable shoe, like outdoors. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like most aren't. So, you know, there's going to be XDR renditions over in China. So if you're interested, you can go ahead and try and grab one of those whenever they release. I think that these are going to play awesome. I think that the little unique features like the size tag that you can see instead of being inside the shoe on the heel is a really weird but cool touch. They also have the little color labeling, which is so weird. Like who thought of that? Well, whoever did that, that's dope. It's not like a techie gimmick. It's just like a cool visual piece. So those are my thoughts. We also asked all of you guys that follow us on Instagram at wear testers, what your guys' thoughts are. So take it away. Notorious Vegan says, hope it's more comfortable than the point one for us wide-footed players. That shroud killed a lot of people's feet because it doesn't stretch, it was synthetic. And they came out with the Chaos version recently that was a shroudless Why Not Zero One. A lot of people with wide feet do like that one. So that's an option if you wanted to try that with full length zoom. This one, I don't think it's going to be as, mm, I don't know what to say, but like one size fits most because that shroud doesn't move, but at the same time, it does look kind of narrow. So I don't know. But th those little wing things, those adaptive overlays and all that stuff, I think it's going to help to be able to open or close depending on whatever your foot shape is. Jay Lopez 31 says, Punky Brewster theme. I do not like these at all, like nothing. Tags on the outside, size window on the sole. This was just put in a blender and made. 2.4 out of 10. So everything I like, you don't like. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I will admit though, I had a huge crush on Punky Brewster as a kid. That before Kelly Kapowski and before Kimberly. When you were like our kid's age? Yeah. That's how I knew that I like girls. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like as soon as I saw that girl, man, and she was my age, I was like, mm, 
Punky's kind of doing it for me. 83 Nightmare says, looks like a kindergarten class designed this shoe. They shouldn't mix fashion with performance sneakers. But Brand Black did and they did well. And that's what this is. We just talked about this. What video did we do that? The taking a look back at the J Crossover one. Yeah. This is exactly what I'm talking about in that video. You can see it right here, right now, is that smaller brands are doing what's popular. The bigger brands are seeing that and adapting it. A lot of times, I'm not saying that Nike does this always or Jordan or whoever. I'm not saying that they do it always, but a lot of times they are a step behind. It's just that you think that they're a few steps ahead because they're the brand that you pay attention to most. It's the first thing that you see versus seeing the smaller guys doing it first. There was a lot of commenters comparing this shoe to- Brand uh, Black? Yeah, and well, J Crossover. Well, that's the thing is that those people are more well-rounded in the sneaker thing mm -hmm. because they're aware of. So, you know, as far as mixing fashion, I don't know. I mean, everybody keeps saying that they want a shoe they could wear on or off court, right? Right. So here you go. Uh, yeah, like I think it's weird because it's like there's people that are like, I need a shoe that I could just hoop in. Here you go. But I want to wear it off court. Okay, here you go. No, it needs to be functional. Okay, here you go. You know, and so it's like the brands are like, what the f do yeah, you want? <laughs> right. Elliot Huff says, highly, highly confused with where the idea for the shoe came from. I feel like the ventilation would be awful and the best part might be the lateral support and maybe the outsole, but I've never seen it or anything like this shoe before, but I guess that's true for Westbrook as a player too. Hashtag one of a kind. Well, yeah, the looks to me, like, like you know how like people are like, that doesn't look like a Jordan? If I were to look at a shoe and be like, which one's Westbrook's? There you go. Yeah, that's the shoe. It looks weird. And in that sense, it's cool. I don't understand the ventilation thing. How's a shoe made out of mesh look like it doesn't have ventilation? Maybe he thinks there's stuff behind it. Even if there is, there's still more airflow in that than there is in a solid piece of leather. Uncle Yu says, these are straight fire and Russ took advantage of color scheme change in the NBA. Can't wait to cop mine. Please, general release. Well, Russ has nothing to do with any of the colors. <laughs> they have a whole team. They have the designer and the design team. There's like a guy that designs the outsole. There's a guy that designs the other. Yeah, it's all different. It's not like it used to be where Tinker does everything. Yeah, it's not like that. Now there's teams of people assigned to an item, right? And so How do like, you know it's gonna like that they mesh? all They all work together. That's why they 3D print. It's a big process now. It's super interesting. And then the colors are a different team. The materials are a different team. It's insane the way that things like that work now. Like it used to be a dude and now it's a team of people. Russ has nothing to do with it. Basically these people worked for over a year on this product and throughout the process they're showing him everything from the sketches to the 3d renders to the first made sample and he's saying yay or nay until it comes to the wear testing and then once they do that they create that first section that i just talked about like the whole design and 3d and, and sample staging they do that as quickly as possible because they need to get it on his feet for testing because it, as soon as you test it all of that can change chris go king says i think this shoe really embodies russell westbrook's ambitious fashion choices it is truly his shoe but might not be for everyone exactly you can tell that this shoe is designed to be a little bit out there on purpose kev fennel says i like that they look different but that traction looks untrustworthy i'm also curious as to what kind of cushion is in there since the heel and forefoot are decoupled four foot zoom nothing on the back i don't understand the, the questioning of the of the traction of the circles yes you have a multi-direction coverage surface and you place it everywhere what's questionable about that. When I was reading the comments about the traction, I thought it was more so because all of a sudden there's that space where the tag is. Nah, that could be a problem, like all of a sudden, because that's a big strike zone. Hmm. You're not supposed to get caught on your heels, but if you do, it's a normal pr part of the game. But that having that there, that could be a weird, especially, we don't know how far in it is. It's probably only a millimeter or so, but at the same time, like if that thing is slippery and so it compresses and then it hits the floor, right. you could slip. Who knows what's gonna happen. I thought it was further up. If it is further up, then there's just traction missing. And so that could also cause an issue. Who knows? But again, they've hopefully tested it at the same time. Like hopefully it's not just rust testing, which I doubt it is. Cause again, there's a whole team of people. So the design team's playing in the shoe cause they play basketball. There's other people that work at Jordan brand that play basketball and they like wear test. They wear test everything from the retros to the performance stuff. So that pretty much takes care of it for our first impression on the upcoming Russell Westbrook. Why not zero two? Hopefully you guys enjoyed my thoughts. Your guys' thoughts with some of my commentary on there. I don't think anybody's got anything to worry about with the traction. I think it's going to be awesome. Price point, we don't know yet. Release date, I'm hearing January, but that's just a rumor at this point. So take that with a grain of salt. But it's coming in January. 
But anyways, I'm super excited for the shoe. I cannot wait to play in them. Again, the first Russell Westbrook shoe was like one of my favorites of the year. I'm hoping that this one is just as good, if not better. Leave your comments down below in the comment section. Let us know your thoughts on these guys. Thank you so much for watching once again. Until next time, guys, have a good one.